We begin at five with a devastating fire in Fall River that ripped through a triple decker and injured nine people. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Chelsea Jones. One person trapped inside is now at Rhode Island Hospital in critical condition. Firefighters were called to the Alden Street multifamily home just after nine o'clock last night. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer has been on the scene all day. She joins us now with a look at the damage. Brittany? Including three firefighters for overexertion. Officials say they arrived to heavy flames coming from the first floor. An elderly woman trapped in her second floor apartment during a fire is pulled out by Good Samaritans. When we showed up, there were heavy flames coming from the uh, first floor. Uh, thankfully, everyone was out of the building at that time. That woman is still in critical condition due to smoke inhalation. Nine people in total were injured, including three firefighters. District Chief Sean Flannery says everyone has been released from the hospital, apart from the critically injured resident. Only ones that we actually know have been there for a while on the bottom floor are the older people, the elderly lady and her son that are in the hospital. Keep her in our prayers and hopefully she'll be okay. Across the street. The Esperito Santo Catholic Church was hosting their annual festival, giving Father Maurice Gauvin and a hundred others a front row seat to the devastation. He tells me dozens of firefighters were here for hours. We gave them water, we brought them sandwiches from the feast and things like that for the firefighters. They worked very hard and they were here through the whole night, you know, watching the building after they got things put out. 29 trucks and 69 firefighters and EMS were on scene of the three alarm fire. 12 news cameras captured crews going in and out of the charred building. The remnants of a shower could be seen through a third floor window. Flannery tells us the fire started on the first floor and quickly spread to the second and third. We advanced lines uh, into the house to knock the fire down. The problem was that it got into the walls, and um, we spent a considerable amount of time uh, chasing it uh, in the walls and uh, trying to knock. The fire down. And the inspector tells me this building will likely be able to be saved, but fire officials are estimating the damage will cost around $500,000. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. Live in Fall River, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. The investigation continues tonight into this three alarm fire in Fall River that happened last night that injured several people. One person is still in the hospital in critical condition. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer talked with an eyewitness who saw everything unfold from across the street. She joins us now live from Fall River with what she's learned. Brittany? Well, Chelsea, Mike, eight people were sent to the hospital, including three firefighters. Officials tell us the elderly woman who is still in critical condition was trapped up on the second floor. The space now charred and boarded up. Flames stretch from the first floor and up to the third in minutes. All while Father Maurice Gauvin watched from across the street. A rolling of flames and then it rolled across and went shoo, right up the stairwell. Nine people were injured, including an elderly woman who was trapped on the second floor. Fault River fire officials tell us two bystanders pulled the trapped resident out of the building. That woman is still in critical condition due to smoke inhalation. Officials say three firefighters suffered minor injuries. At one point, they even had to sound the alarm from all their trucks to evacuate the building of firefighters. 12 news cameras captured streams of water shooting out of first floor windows. Crews were going in and out of the charred building. Building all morning. 29 trucks and 69 firefighters and EMS were on scene of the three alarm fire. District Chief Sean Philanery tells us the fire started on the first floor, spreading to the second and third, and the way the flames traveled made their job difficult. We advanced lines uh, into the house to knock the fire down. The problem was that it got into the walls, and um, we spent a considerable amount of time uh, chasing it uh, in the walls and uh, trying to knock the fire down. And right now, officials are working to determine what caused this fire. The building inspector does tell me he does not believe this building will be a total loss. Live in Fall River, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.